and then we continue to follow the road round because we're going to go to Llangofflin. Turn right there, takes you to Brunel Festinjog and back round again, but we've already been that way. So we continue to the National Wales or the Welsh Motor Museum. The Motor Museum in Hagothlin anyhow. And it's got some really interesting old bikes in. <laughs> it's bloody mint. So well, just coming up here on the right is your first motorbike friendly pub to be featured on this tour. You turn right in there, you can find out more about them in the magazine, but the Saracen's Head, it's nice inside. Good little spot is that. And here it is on the left. Country Cooks, cracking spot to stop at, bloody belted. More motorbike friendly than a packet full of motorbikes. And it just so happens there's one in. Ding dong tickety boo. And there it is there. See more about them in the magazine. So that's Country Cooks. Bloody marvellous. Get yourself in there. What a friendly bunch. And get some uh, some Welsh cakes. Nice and hot with butter. And a wee cup of coffee. God knows. And we're into the outskirts of Llangothlin. And so we've come into the centre of Llangothlin. We now head towards the Motorcycle Museum. Those guys have all been up to the Ponderosa. And we turn left into here. This is a Gotham Motorbike or Motor Museum. So we'll go and have a look inside. So let's go and have a look. <laughs> look at them! Aren't they bloody mint? An Aerial Arrow, an AJS. I wonder if that was the same my granddad had. A Vela set. A Francis Barnett, a BSA Bantam. A 1956 BSA A7. Both the Coup de Gras. The Norton Dominator. 500 cc's of fun.